And I'm going to start this off, and I'm going to ask <coughs> Derek to combine your professorial knowledge and your executive brevity to tell us what disruption is all about. What does it mean? What does it mean to be a disruptor? Wow. <coughs> um, well, to be disrupted is very hard. Um, you know, I, I don't want to lecture a room full of people about uh, Clay Christensen's theories, but um, when he coined the term innovator's dilemma, he captured uh, a very hard situation that leading firms can find themselves in, where um, you face a dilemma, a choice between two bad alternatives, either um, ignoring the upstart entrant who is attempting to disrupt you and paying the consequences over the long term, <coughs> or turning and fighting and suffering uh, financial underperformance challenge to your core franchise in the short term. So you kind of have that long term versus short term trade off. And when uh, a disruptive entrant is coming at you with a fundamentally lower cost business system or is targeting clients who are marginal to you such that you ignore them until it's too late, you kind of find yourself, you wake up and find yourself in that dilemma. And that's, we, we wrote the article in part because we, we could see that the leaders in professional services are kind of getting edged into that corner more and more each year. 